guest is a versatile actor who has appeared on television in Heroes and Girls and as Mr. Spock in the Star Trek films. Please welcome Zachary Quinto. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I am a big fan because no matter what you're playing, I loved you in Heroes. I uh, loved you as uh, uh, as Spock. Uh, I'm really excited to see you play Glenn Greenwald coming oh, yeah. up the new Oliver Stone yeah. film about Ed Snowden. Mm -hmm. um, every time I see you on screen, I think that guy's got a secret. That character has something he's not telling me. Something he's not sharing. <laughs> Oftentimes, it's that I'm going to murder you. Yes. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about that? People go like, we've wrote something. He's psychotic. He's a murderer. He has no soul. When we thought you of you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't really account for that. I don't it's know. It's the eyebrows. What... You think it's so? It's definitely the eyebrows. The heavy laden brow. Yeah, exactly. Well, They're coming at you like a weapon. It's... <laughs> <laughs> really? It's nice. Coming yeah. at you like a weapon. Coming mean. at me. They're yeah, coming yeah, at me yeah, right yeah. now. So, yeah. yeah, I have to keep well, breathing. Well, mind yourself panic. so that this doesn't go horribly awry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I really, I really don't know what that is. There's an intensity to characters that I've played, or. Uh, but uh, you also, you bring kind of... that to the performance. I think you mm -hmm. bring a secret. Do you, well, do, you, do you have a secret when you when you go right to now? the therapy? Well, sure, <laughs> sure. No, but I mean, like, do you do you, do you have a like sort of a a hook, something that secrets, you're keeping back from the se audience? Secrets can definitely be really uh, powerful tools. I think uh, some characters have secrets written in, mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes it's valuable to cultivate your own secrets as an actor. Sometimes that you share with a director. Sometimes you share them with other actors, uh -huh. but not certain actors. You know what I mean? Their secrets sure. play yeah. into the process a lot. But everybody in life, we really uh, all really have secrets. Real I people guess that's have true, secrets, of course, right? yes, yeah. But they're, they're really interesting to play with in different ways. I, I happen to have played a number of characters who have had them written in in a very specific and elemental way to how those characters are received by the audience, I guess. Well, certainly Spock, in a way. Uh, again, your performance of Spock is incredible. And I, I, I love Leonard Nimoy, but yeah. your performance of Spock is just as beautiful to me. I yeah. mean, it's a oh, diff different sweet. performance. Thanks. I understand. Thanks. I understand you got, to, you got to know Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. And I'm so jealous you got to become friends with him. What did you learn from him? I've never known anybody. We actually lost Leonard uh, a year ago on the 27th of this month, so much love to him and his family, of course, always. But, um, but I, I, I've never met somebody, actually, who so fully embodied a sense of fulfillment in their life. I really haven't. Uh, he, he was such a tremendous artist, but philanthropist and generous person and so intelligent. And uh, I miss him all the time. I really miss him. Uh, so much at, at this point, obviously, marking the anniversary of his passing. But he was, he was one of the, the greatest gifts that my career has brought into my personal life, for sure. And his, his wife was at our opening night last night of our play. I'm, I'm doing a play downtown. And mm -hmm. um, she came from L.A. to be there with us. And, you know, she's, she's an, uh, as much a part of my life as he was. So I feel really lucky to have known them on so many levels, for sure. Well, the name of the play is Smokefall, mm -hmm. and it's at the Lucille Lortel. Yes. It's open now. How long is it running? Yeah, we go until March 20th. It's a brand new American play, which is really exciting mm -hmm. to be a part of, uh, written by a guy called Noah Heidel mm -hmm. uh, and directed by uh, Annie Kaufman, uh, an amazing director, who told me to tell you she has a crush on you, so I feel obligated. <laughs> That's to nice. pass that message I like along. that. No, it's very you know, nice. It's always it's nice, nice to hear. I'm married. Uh, I know. Very flattered. I'm not very flattered. 